Hey guys, Jeremy Trickles here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It's lovely seeing your beautiful faces. This is about my food adventures all over the world. And today, well, I'm on a food adventure. Uh, you, if you can tell by how sweaty I already am, uh, I'm not in New York right now. I'm in Tampa. It's very humid. Uh, I flew in this morning, landed literally half an hour ago. And what the series of videos is gonna be about is my time in Tampa, mostly about what I find to eat in Tampa. I'm um, going to be filming a little series about the best Cuban sandwiches, which will be coming up, so make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell for that bell for that thing too. But these are going to be just like a bunch of vlog videos uh, about my time here. I'm going to spend three and a half days here uh, in total, just taking some sunshine and get some good food. Uh, and that's what we're actually doing here. Here's the first stop, which is going to be all part of my bigger compilation Cuban sandwich video, uh, Ricardo's. Let's go check it out. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> they're like, do you want the small, the regular to large? I was like, I'll just take the regular. They're like, 15 cents more for large. I'm like, no, I don't know, regular. I don't, you know, Jesus Christ. This is the regular. Look how fucking big this is. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, it's a whole entire loaf. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's fucking great though. Okay, so let's talk about the experience in there too. Uh, it's pretty funny, like they, were they rude? No, but they definitely wanted you to order an order fast and know what you were doing. Cause like when you order one, as I said before, like they ask you to sizes, but two, they're like hot or cold. And they basically mean like, press. cause there's all these signs saying like, we don't press sandwiches except for the Cuban, which I, I don't know, I don't understand. But anyway, to me like a Cuban is pressed, right? Let me know. So inside it's pretty traditional, uh, roast pork, ham, Swiss pickles, mayo, mustard. Uh, what I wasn't so sure when I wasn't so sure. So this has salami in it, and I looked it up, and that's something that's more traditional of the Tampa Cuban sandwiches than maybe what I'm used to. But Tampa is who invented the Cuban sandwich. So who says what is traditional and what and what isn't? But damn, this thing is fucking hefty. I am so into this. All right. First of all, I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna keep eating before I say anything. Mm. Flavor-wise, it's everything you would expect. This is like a very classic, traditional Cuban. Obviously, all those pork flavors coming through, like a little, little sweetness from the ham, nice creaminess from the cheese, those pickles, the mustard, the mayo, are really nice. I will say that, like, I mean, again, like this is sort of something we're going to have to learn as you go through. Like to me. I think the bread should just be like maybe a tiny bit more crustier, mm, iffy, iffy, but I mean, I would say like a very, very, very solid, a good, a good like jumping off point for me to compare it to because I think like when you're speaking like traditional, normal, this is the one. So now we have something to compare the rest of to. So this is a good, good classic to start with. Mm. This is going to be the first of many times I say this. It's so freaking humid and hot. I don't deal well in the heat, but I don't know. <sighs> All right, so stop number one was definitely a success in terms of food, but oh my God, I know. I don't want these videos to become just like me being like, I'm hot, which inevitably a lot of them do to be honest. But I think my, my, I think my approach is gonna be go somewhere I think a lot of these places are outdoors, but go somewhere, do what I gotta do, and then just plan in my day time to just sit in the car and have the AC blast in my face. This is honestly like a huge reason on why I got a rental car, because I knew that like Ubers just weren't gonna do it. Like I couldn't just chill in an Uber and like cool myself off. So yeah, I'm going to cool myself off for a few minutes and then sort of just like drive around a bit, head towards the hotel, get my bearings a little bit straight, maybe find a coffee shop. I don't know, I kind of left today pretty open, so we're just gonna sort of see what happens and I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. So check in when I figure out what I'm doing. All right, so something that is important when I travel is to find B-roll and find cool things being like, look at me, I'm in Tampa. Uh, and I have this giant mural that I found on my shoulder here. Super see it okay now you see it um 
It's actually pretty good. So now I could post a photo being like, look at me, look, here I am in a city. So cool. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do with that sign is take a film photo with it. So I have two film cameras with me. I have my Texas Leica, the Fuji GW692, uh, which I have some medium format film here. I also have my Canon A1, both things I load up with Portra 400. Um, and then what I'll do is sort of the same way if you guys saw my videos that I did in, in Austin, Texas, um, is I'll do a whole other video sort of going through those photos once I get back to New York and get them developed. So the sign is a perfect first shot for my Texas Leica. All right, so it was time for a coffee break. I'm over here at the Oxford Exchange. It's cute. There's like a coffee shop and a tea shop and a restaurant and a store. There's a lot going on, and I'm just going to do some work and make some coffee. Okay, next stop is the West Tampa Sandwich Shop, and it's right behind me here over the shoulder. It looks very unassuming, but sometimes that's a sign of very, very, very good things, and they have a, well, a very presidential Cuban sandwich I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out. It's true, here's President Obama uh, stopping by the shop in 2012. Okay, so on the menu, they have something called the honey Cuban. So the difference is that, well, it has honey on it. That's kind of cool. But they have the honey Cuban Obama sandwich just because Obama came here, he ate this sandwich, and he had a lettuce tomato, so I had to do that. I mean, listen, if it's good enough for Obama, it's good enough for me, so let's see. Okay, it is thick, like, you could feel the density just like being up to plate, and like, it's also kind of sticky. You get like already that honey is like seeping through the whole thing or you take a bite and this just like, look at those layers. Wow. Mm. Two big differences in there compared to a normal Cuban. Less than tomato. And obviously the honey. I think I actually like lettuce and tomato in it. Just adds even another just sort of like layer of texture in the whole thing. I don't know if I like the honey. Personally, honey does go well with ham. You know, honey ham, it all makes sense. I think it is just like a touch too overpowering, if I'm honest. I'm not a big sweets person. So I feel like I'd prefer more of that like mustardy coming through than the sweetness. But this bread is great. Super, super crusty. I love how the whole sandwich is just like layered perfectly. I think the sandwich is all about those layers as you bite through getting each one of those bites. And I think like, I love it. It's not, everything's sort of just like in harmony in the sandwich. Mm. Another just gigantic sandwich. Again, they still like doing the large, the regular large. I was like, I don't know, give me the large, I guess. I'm afraid it's going to be too small, but these are definitely not too small at all. And it's funny. I think in the first bite, I got a little bit more of the ham. I took another bite, and I got a little bit more of that roast pork. I think that savoriness bounced out the sweetness a little bit more. Um, I guess it just sort of depends on where you get that bite. I mean, overall, bam. I love it here too. Just so cool. Photos everywhere, and just like a unique old school throwback, homey feel. So I really appreciate it, you know? Oh, all right. So I finally made it to the hotel check-in. I'm staying at the Marriott downtown. I forget all these travel things to mention the hotels. So it's obviously like a huge part of tra traveling. Uh, I picked it just, price wasn't bad. I wanted to be downtown for some reason. I don't really know the area, but I figured the center it is sort of nice. Wasn't expensive and I have a nice little view of the city, I guess you can't, it's too overexposed, you can't see that, but, um, and it seems to be a 24 seven gym, which is what I want, a pool, which is what I want. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little breather and then we'll uh, see what we get into. Okay, so, where's my hair all weird? Uh, here's what I did, nothing. Well, I didn't do anything. I was sitting in the hotel working, just sort of like 
recouping. It's been a very long day. I woke up at before 5 a.m. to make it here to Tampa. Um, but so my plan for tonight is I'm actually going to go out to a bar downtown called Embird. It looks kind of cool. And, you know, one thing I do in these cities is generally I'm perfectly happy, like, going to bars by myself. Feel like you talk to the bartender, you meet people, you, like, really get, like, a great sense of where you're traveling to. Much harder to do that now, um, even with less restrictions here in Florida. I really don't know what to expect at this bar, to be honest, but less whatever. It's hard to just, you know, meet people. So what I did was, well, I went on Hinge uh, <laughs> and I'm going to go meet with up with the girl from Hinge. And honestly, like, it's a nice way just to meet people, just go have a drink and experience city, meet a local. Listen, it's not for everyone. You probably better for you to be single if you're going to do that. I wouldn't recommend that for everybody. But for me, it's just sort of, eh, it's nice. I don't have to sit alone. I get to experience a cocktail. I get to go out, whatever. Um, what I will do, though, is say goodbye now because <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to have to be filming when I get home. I'm tired. If I had a few drinks, whatever, just going to be a mess. So here's what I want you to do. If you like this video, hit the like button. Stay tuned because I have more vlog videos coming from Tampa. Uh, comment below. Let me know what your favorite thing I ate was today. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll shoot the rest. Oh, that's the thing, too. I don't want to take my camera with me. So I'll shoot the rest of my phone. Just go to the B-roll give you a little experience of what this place is like. But officially, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so it's in this little establishment here. Steelback, this movie theater, public market. It's cool. It's beautiful out, so check it out. like a rooftop up there, that is uh, where we're going.